Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Well today I decided I would do some updates since I've been out of town and I've got a fun announcement as well. Seems like I've got a lot of announcements these days but <laughs> it's keeping it fun right? Um, so stick with me here and I'll let you know everything that's going on in the next few weeks and beyond. So as a lot of you know, I just got back from my quilting uh, cruise retreat. That was amazing. Uh, that was with Stitch in Heaven and uh, Andrew, the combat quilter, Mark, the quilting marine, and Rob Appel were the instructors. We had a wonderful time. We worked on some great projects. To be honest, um, we didn't get a whole lot of sewing done. Ingrid, uh, that you guys have seen here on my channel, her and I went together. Um, we had a great time befriending many of the ladies there. So we talked <laughs> more than we sewed, but that's okay because we can always sew at home. We did get enough done so we can see what the projects are going to look like once they're finished. Um, and I plan on working on those in the next couple weeks here, along with all my other projects that I have going on. So I'll show you those eventually. And then Ingrid and I are going to do a wrap up video or on my live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope you'll join me for then. We're gonna take questions about quilting cruises because I know I had a million questions. I didn't really know how it all worked. And we're gonna tell you um, the good, the bad, things we sh overpacked, things we should have packed. If there was any, between her and I, we had just about everything. <laughs> and all the adventures we got up to and the things we did and things like that. So if you're interested in hearing about the quilting cruise, it was the Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas, but again, it was organized by Stitch in Heaven in Texas, um, which Rob Appel is, is, uh, does their retreats and their videos and things like that now. Um, but we'll, we'll let you know what we thought of the guys and the whole cruise in general. So come on over this Saturday. So that's number one. Number two, later this week, um, I'm going, I'm going to be starting a new saw along with Shannon. Um, it is the Alice in Wonderland FPP from Tom Tay Studios. We were supposed to start this back in January and this sew along actually started last year. I believe it was last September or October, but we're waiting till January and then our schedules just, just didn't mesh up. So we're going to begin that this Friday. We're going to do the first block right here on my channel and then the second block on Sunday on Shannon's channel. So we're going to do two blocks um, this weekend to kick it off. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for that. I love FPP and I've been itching to do this project since we had to cancel it. Um, so looking forward to that. So that's this Friday. So I'm going to have a live on Friday and a live on Saturday right here on my channel. And then we'll go to live on Shannon's channel on Sunday. So Shannon of Slay Arts. Um, I will link all this information down below in the description box. So it's the gray box underneath the video. You just click more and you can see everything. So I'll put all that there. So that's this weekend. But before we get to this weekend, um, yesterday I announced the new Fort Worth Fabric Studio Sew Along. So I hope you caught that video. It's their Halloween quilt. Yes, it's time to start thinking about Halloween quilts already. It seems really early. But honestly, these things kind of creep up on us. Um, so I've got a plan for a Christmas Sew Along. Uh, between Shannon and I, we're going to do something. And we're already thinking about that and we're going to start that after we're done with the New York Beauty but we'll talk about that more nothing to worry about right now you'll have plenty of time to gather what you need for that um, but that's gonna be a quick and fun so along but it's hard I can't believe it's already time to think about holiday stitching so um, the Halloween mystery so along from Fort Worth Fabric Studio it's working a little bit different this time around so make sure you go watch that video um, I will tag that here at the end so you can just click on that video and go over there and watch that. So that's going on. Tomorrow, which is Wednesday, um, the sewing with Steven and Stephanie. And Steven is Bland Designs and the Idiot Quilter. You guys know he's my good friend. We have a sew day every Wednesday that's completely free. And it's not live on YouTube. We know a lot of you don't want to be shown on YouTube. It doesn't get recorded. It's just a free Zoom come on over it begins at 9 a.m. Eastern time we go to 4 p.m. Eastern time you don't have to come at 9 a.m. you don't have to stay till 4 p.m. you can pop in when you're available but we'd love to see you we'd love to meet you we've got a bunch of regulars over there but we always welcome new people 
it's a fun way to get together with like-minded people and just get some projects done and we all cheer when everybody finishes something. So it's a very encouraging group. So we'd love to have you come on over for that. That link, that Zoom link is in the community tab always right here on my channel. So if you look at my homepage, there are tabs with different things uh, about and a community tab and videos tab. If you go to the community tab and scroll down, and find the Wednesday so Day announcement. The Zoom link is there, but I will also put it underneath this video this time just to make it easier. So I'd love to see you there. Um, I'm excited to go back to that this week because I missed last week because it was on the cruise. So um, can't wait to see everybody because they, a lot of the ladies there we consider, and gentlemen, consider friends because um, they've been coming for so long um, and I can't wait to catch up with them. So looking forward to that. And then this week on Thursday, uh, Steven and I have been doing a sew along that's on his channel um, with the Table Tastic 2. And this is, I believe, the last week of the project we've been working on, showing you guys how to put together this 20 inch block. Um, it's a book by Doug Lico, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. So I'm excited to uh, finish that block. And Steven has all, already completely finished a quilt. <laughs> <laughs> but he is still working on the extra block just to show you guys how it goes together. I, however, have not. I have two blocks done and I'm working on the third one and I'm debating whether to turn it into a quilt or make it into something else, maybe even a smaller quilt um, with some sashing and things in between and just make a fourth block because I'm kind of ready to be done with that project and move on to something else. Um, I've got two quilts from the cruise that I want to finish. Um, and I've got a ton of things over there on my long arm that I need to get done. Um, I probably have just from the last few weeks, I finished the two puzzle mystery quilts, um, and several other quilts. <laughs> so I've got at least a dozen things to long arm. So, um, that's definitely going to be a priority coming up here soon. Um, so let's see, we talked about the Fort Worth Fabric Studio. Okay. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is while I was on the boat, there were, you guys know I love Art East Quilt Company's patterns. I did the Puffin Star and Going Coastal, which was the cute one with the mermaid. And then I did the Red Pandas because I love Red Pandas. You guys know that. Um, so the they had a big announcement. Well, first of all, let's back up a little bit. John, uh, who writes all the patterns, very generously um, sent me a few patterns a couple months ago. So I'm going going to have some new Art East projects going here soon. I have one that has birds on it that I'm going to make next. I've already got the fabric all prepped uh, as far as ironed and pressed, uh, like all ready to go. I just need to cut it and then start that project. So I'll show you guys that coming up soon. And then I have a couple patterns that he sent me um, as a thank you gift for talking about him here on my channel, which who wouldn't? <laughs> They're amazing. Their projects are amazing. Um, they're really nice people, a uh, great company. And actually they're in Canada. And if you purchase something from Canada, it's actually cheaper than buying it here in the States because our dollar is stronger than theirs. Um, with the exchange rate, we do pretty well. <laughs> so, and surprisingly coming from Canada, the shipping is really, really fast. So um, if you have never heard of Art East, go check them out. But what I have to tell you guys is the announcement is that they are starting a new sew along. So they start a new sew along like every fall, September, October ish. They've done a Wizard of Oz sew along. They've done a Alice in Wonderland sew along, which is different from the FPP Alice in Wonderland we're doing. They were traditional. They do all traditional piecing. The one that we're doing is FPP. So um, if you like traditional piecing and you like Alice in Wonderland, you can go check that out on their website. Uh, but this fall, I'm super excited about this, October 1st, and I'll pop up a picture here in a minute, they are starting the 100 Acre Wood Sew Along. So Winnie the Pooh, my favorite character growing up when I was a little girl was Eeyore, and my son, who is six years old, and he is autistic, his favorite, favorite character is Winnie the Pooh. He's got this giant stuffed, super soft Winnie the Pooh that when he gets upset, he holds it and squeezes it and pets it. So I am very, very excited for this quilt. Um, this one is definitely going to be made for my son. Uh, it's beautiful. It finishes at 70 by 70. I'm going to pop up a picture here while I talk about it. It is traditionally pieced. It's advanced beginner to intermediate. 
and it's a nine month so long. So like I said, it begins October 1st and it will go through next June, the following June. So June, 2025, um, there's three ways you can, um, do this quilt. So there's a uh, basic pro and premium. The basic is the patterns. And then with the patterns, you get videos on how to do all the blocks. You get monthly lives with uh, chat. And so, um, you get, there's a member forum. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be like sort of a, a messaging tool where you can talk to each other or post pictures. There's going to be prizes because this so long is sponsored by Riley Blake. It's Riley Blake fabrics. They're basics. Um, and that is just for the pattern and all that stuff. So you can sew your stash, you can purchase fabrics from other places. Although if you purchase, it makes a lot of sense to purchase Mart East Quilt Company. Not only does it support them, but like I said, with the exchange rate, we actually do better here in the States. Um, so why not? <laughs> or you can get the pro package. The pro includes everything I just mentioned and the fabric kit. So if you want the fabric um, for the quilt top, then you get a quilt label that matches, which is really cool. You get some embroidery floss from Aurafil and embroidery needles because there is a tiny bit of running stitch embroidery. Don't let that scare you. It's really like if you guys remember the Winnie the Pooh story and him holding the balloon to fly up to the honey. There's that in the quilt, which you guys saw when I popped up the picture. You need to run, do a running stitch to connect the balloon to Pooh. Um, but that's super easy. Um, you guys know I'm not a hand stitcher, although recently I started doing some EPP. And if you watched any of my other videos, you might have seen just that a little tiny bit of it, but it's not that bad. And these are big stitches, so <laughs> not teeny tiny stitches like I had to do with the EPP. So it should be fairly simple. They're going to give us um, papers to trace it on. So it, it, it'll be good. And if I can do it, you can do it. I know you can. <laughs> and you could do it with me because I'm going to be sewing it here on my channel. Um, you also get marking pens piecing labels their labels are great i've used them before there's like um kind of like the avery stick on labels uh, but they don't they stick to your fabric but they're easy to peel off and they don't leave residue and you can mark them because if you've ever done an art east quilt before you know there's lots of little pieces <laughs> so you have to be okay with lots of little pieces and that's why it's kind of considered advanced beginner to intermediate um all their almost all their patterns have lots of little pieces the, the hardest part about their patterns, it's not really hard, it's just tedious, is cutting everything out. But once you get past that, the satisfaction when you put it all together and you see this character come to life in fabric is really amazing. And that's what I love about Art East Quilt patterns. Um, you also are going to get a limited edition vinyl sticker that matches. I don't know what it looks like yet. And then you're going to get um, a bonus gift. Don't know what that is, although I suspect it may be a Winnie the Pooh book. Um, because I kind of saw some of that in their photos and then it comes in a nice little box and I'll put a picture of that up here. So if you, that's the pro and then the, so all of the basic comes with the pro. And then if you go to the premium, you get the basic stuff in the basic and the pro, the premium has backing fabric, um, and it's a 108, so a wide backing and it includes binding. So the pro does not include binding. It's all your fabrics for the quilt top. But again, these are Riley Blake basics, so they're available anytime, so you don't have to worry about not being able to find it later, which is nice. Um, it comes with the backing fabric binding, a large spool of Aurafil for piecing, the 50 weight, and then a 10 pack of Oregon sewing needles. Now, um, I know some people use Schmet, some people Oregon or other things. Uh, Janome, if you have a Janome machine, always recommends Oregon needles, but use your favorite thing. But Oregon needles are wonderful. I have a high speed straight stitch machine. They take special needles and I get them from Oregon and I absolutely love them. So I love that they're giving you guys Oregon needles. So if you haven't used them, you can try them. They're wonderful. So that's all the details on that. And I'm going to link uh, Art East down below plus the first um, thing in the comments because I'm really excited about this project. Um, I'm going to do it. I've already gotten the kit on order. Um, John at Art East, he did not ask me to make this video. In fact, he said I did not have to make it or uh, make do anything uh, on social media about this when I was talking to him about this project. Um, but I'm choosing to because I really like him. I like his company. They have great products and I'm going to be doing this on my channel. So I wanted to let you guys know because there's a lot going on in the quilting world and maybe you didn't hear about this project. And if you're a fan of 
the Winnie the Pooh characters like I am, or if you have somebody in your life like I do, like my son, who would love to have something like this, I wanted you guys to know about it. So there you go. So yes, this is sort of a commercial, but not really, <laughs> because like I said, Art East did not ask me to do this, but I wanted to because um, they've been very kind to me, sending me patterns and things like that in the, in the past. Um, and I just love their company. So, all right, so that's going on. Let's see what else. Tonight is the New York Beauty So Along. It's called Harry Knows 2, which is kind of funny. So join me right here on my channel at 6 p.m. Shannon of Slay Arts will be here. So it's going to be a busy week. We have New York Beauty tonight. Tomorrow is the So Day. Thursday, Stephen and I will release the last piece of the block to show you guys how to make the block that we're working on from Table Tastic 2. Friday night, Shannon and I are going to start the FPP So Along Alice Tom Tay Studios. Saturday, we're going to talk about the cruise live. Ingrid's going to join me and a few other special friends, hopefully, if they can make it. So that's going to be fun. And then Sunday, we'll be on Shannon's channel for the second block of the Alice FPP. So busy, fun week, but I'm really excited because I'm home. I'm back to my machine, which I love, um, and I can't wait to sew. So like I said, we didn't sew a whole lot on the cruise. <laughs> so now I can get back to sewing the thing that I love the most. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I've missed you all. I can't wait to see you on all the things this week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.